Hello, welcome back to Mickey's Arts and Craft. Uh, I've been gone again for a little bit because we've been living without water for two weeks. Right before Labor Day, the week before Labor Day, uh, the water just completely shut off. And um, <clears throat> um, it finally, it was, uh, finally was put back on Friday, September 10th. At 3 p.m. around 3 something. I have never been so happy. So I decided I am I know with all of you know the death of my favorite pastors and stuff, I wanted to start journaling again. So um and I know I said at the end of my last journal session that I was gonna start working in this because here is my previous uh journals and I haven't done a flip through of this yet, but we'll see one day. But, and I said I was going to start working in this one, but I decided to go ahead and work in this one. And this one looks like this. This is so cute. I think I got it from, no, I, I, I know I got it from Tuesday morning. And I've already started some work in it. Uh, and we're going to start on this page. You know what? I'm just going to slip it out up here. Of the journal. So, I wanted a happy journal, so I decided I like the pink, green, and orange in that one. So, so we're gonna start here. I already started talking about how the water was cut on and how happy I am. Whew, it was, it was something. Um, but we pulled through, and I am proud of how we pulled through. So I'm going to try and make this quick because I do have to, uh, I took a beat from Friday from, uh, I just was tired of, you know, all the people, uh, coming in, strangers coming in, you know, they were nice. Um, you know, you just have to get, well, I have to get mentally prepared, yeah, but a bunch of strange, um, people just walking through your house, but, um, I needed a beat before I called again the, uh, what am I looking for? The um, Oh, I have some things over here I want to glue down. So, um, oh, what was I saying? Before I called the, uh, the insurance people again. Because half of it, I mean, if it's outside your home, they say you have to pay for it. But, oh, it's a big a mess because it went off and we called and said you know what's going on the next day did you cut us off what happened um she said there was a water main break in the area so okay so we were sitting around waiting 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 for uh the water to come back on uh and it did not that monday and by tuesday okay the water's still not on and we called again and I think it was by Wednesday. I said, well, let me go ahead. Because I thought it was a um, a bubble in the pipe. Because down in the basement, we still had a little bit of water. So I thought it was a bubble. And that it just needed to be siphoned out. And then the water would come back on. So I called my... Um, and then, oh, in the meantime then... It, you could hear it trickling at first in the wall, and then the next thing, no, you heard the like a tub was on it, but it was coming in the wall. And I'll put that here. Yeah, you can hear it running in here where the uh, main water line is. Yeah. Sadly, I did not have the, I didn't have the, um, what do you call it? The, um, I didn't put the, Oh, one second. I didn't put the, um, oh, here it is. Sadly, I didn't put the, um, flash on, so you can't see, well, but you can hear it and how it's flushing, and it started to flush even worse than that. It was a mess, y'all. It was a mess. And then it started to, um, um, it started to uh, oh it would start to flood our basement and so that was 
about Wednesday and we had our oh and I called and I called places that were supposed to come in an emergency and they were like well okay by this time it was Wednesday right before Labor Day and I was like there's an emergency you know water is flooding our basement and blah 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 because I couldn't get the we couldn't get the water main to close and we thought, you know, that's all we needed was the plumber to come and cut off the main water line to the house. And she was like, oh, no, we can't get nobody in until September 9th or 10th. And <laughs> I was like, okay, y'all do realize this is an emergency, y'all. Uh, and so I kept talking and, it, no, I called another uh, uh, plumber and they and this is the one I thought I I had a plumber that I liked had used and I guess talking about him and she said yeah that he works here I said well can he come out and she said well he's busy this week and I was like oh gosh again this is an emergency so as I kept talking because she said he's going on vacation for the whole week next week so she said I will you know I have a tip uh Fussy cutting the key to fussy cutting. Well, you know, I have a video where I offer up a tip. The key to fussy cutting is to turn the paper and, and not the scissors. When we turn the paper and let the scissors do its work. So you just turn the paper. I said it quite a lot in my glue book session, but uh, I'll link it. You turn the paper and not the scissors, and then you let the scissors do its work. But anyway, so she said, we'll send him over tomorrow. And blah, 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 blah. So he comes over. That was Wednesday. He comes over. And he says, uh, nope, that's not your main line. I mean, it's not the line coming into your house. It's the main line from the street coming in. And I was like, oh. he said, that's the county. I was like, because oh. <laughs> he was able to get it to shut off, you know, from our house to turn it. But he said, that's not what's making it. So that was a complete waste of time. So the next day the county comes and oh, where's that picture? I've got to find that picture because it is kind of funny. He comes the next day and which is supposed to be very easy for him to cut, just cut it off from the street. He comes in and he can't find the main water line. <laughs> like, oh my he spends almost the whole day he's got this apparatus I said it looks like he's putting a spell on the grass but he's trying to locate the water line and, I, and um he couldn't find it he said I can't find it well lo and behold guess where that water line was it was in the tree <laughs> it was in the tree so when he told me it was in the tree, I went outside, started punching it. Because <laughs> I was punching. I was mad. I was punching. Um, at that point, I was punching. Board is streaming into our house. And the guy who's supposed to cut it off um, can't get it to cut off. So I was like, I can't believe Murphy nephew. Old enough to know. Back in the day, we used to always talk about Murphy's Law. So I was out there punching Murphy. Me and Murphy was going down. I was like, it, it just takes, yes, it has to be my house that you can't, <laughs> that you can't find it. So, uh, y'all, uh, I was mad. I was mad. I was, uh, mm, mm, mm. I was, ooh, I was mad. So eventually he finds it in the tree. So he had to call more people out to dig out the um to dig out the tree. 
you know that and I did get a picture and if I could find out I'm gonna put that here and so after that he finally gets the water cut off praise God so that's Wednesday the big company comes no big company no that was Thursday he comes another company comes on Friday and they look at it Friday right before the holiday and they look at it and he said well if you accept the uh, quote we'll come Tuesday after the holiday and y'all don't sit and take the first quote people give me say that's cute basically that's what I said I said that's cute uh, what else you got uh, and you keep working it out um, until they could give you a deal because it got a little contentious because he was you know at one point well that's the price is the price. And I'm like, for you, it's the price. Um, but um, then I, he, he realized, gosh, this is an emergency. She didn't, and they didn't intend for uh, the water to go out like that. So he was able to work it out. And I appreciate that. They were really, all of them, his whole crew, they were some good peeps. Um, but he, don't accept a quote, you know. I, you know, that's nice. That's that's your first thought. So what else you thinking? You know, always try to get them, you know, haggle. Don't be afraid to haggle. Get in there and haggle. Um, because all they can say is no. You know, and I wasn't taking no for an answer. I was like, mm-hmm. But, uh, so they came on Tuesday after Labor Day with all their big machinery. And I have pictures here. So, yeah. That's what we, what's been going on. And I've been fighting. I haven't, again, felt like, of course, because, you know, there's no water in the house. Um, so, but you know, it did have its cost me to, you know, with the pastors dying and, um, in the fire and everything. It's made me want to start journaling again and not, you know, not just gluing in my glue boat to actually sit and journal again. If you didn't know, I'm writing grateful because I am grateful. That water after almost two weeks, I am grateful for um, the water being turned back on. Grateful, yes, and I am very uh, happy of how we handled it. I um, where's the you? Y'all see the you? Little small you. Okay. Oops. You champs, we handled it like champs. Hopefully this doesn't mess it up. You know, I'll get in here. So that's what's been going on, and that's why I was away this time. <laughs> oh, 
and to sit there in the last little bits of summer. Because I just wanted to go on a staycation. I just wanted to see the beach. I just wanted to say, hey, beach. Beach, say, hey, girl. Um, I just wanted to see it with the people and all their, uh, their uh, huts and stuff like that. I really wanted them to go home, but no, that's good for our economy. But I was, uh, I just wanted to see it. So, but I had to spend beautiful days waiting on people to come to the house. To fix so I'm grateful again that summer is holding on a little bit so I could still go down and at least sit down at the beach and st sit down you know something a little more than just sitting there and um just drinking coffee because usually I'll just go down there and just drink coffee and get up and and go because I really don't have time to sit down there. But I would really love to have time. Okay. Why well, I miss to go down there and and read a little bit and recapture my, you know, last little moments of summer. Summer's over, I know for everybody, but Just capture some little bit of summer. I got like that there. Oh, I hope I was in frame. Touched it, so I'm gonna use it. <sighs> These you get at uh, Dollar Tree. Oh, and I have a whole lot of videos that uh, I filmed. I just need to get them together um, and bring some of them up to date because they're old videos. By now, uh, and I even did a summer journal. Um, I didn't finish. I haven't. I don't know. That may have to wait the next year to to finish working in it because. I don't know. We'll see. Because like I said, I had a lot to say after, you know, the death of the pastor. And now this. So, yeah, my summer was challenging. It's different. Oh. It was different.
Did I put glue on this? I didn't put glue. Just gonna remove that sticky. Covering and I don't feel like lifting it. I'm just gonna leave it alone. But y'all know I can leave it alone. Because it says less Mondays and more summer. And I have this over it because those little. Fly thingies. What do they call those little flea thingies? Not flea, um, not no see them because you see them. Mm. They look like fruit flies, but they're not fruit flies. They get on my nerves. They're all around. They get on my nerves. My nerves. They get on my nerves. And I'm going to stop before I mess it up because y'all know that's what I do. Um, keep going. I'm going to add a little color. Ridiculous, y'all. Ridiculous. <laughs> I need to glue this back up there. guys that came here at one point there was 10 guys walking through the house and outside and things like that really nice I mean to the point where oh, oh they, the water main where it was it was underneath the porch lovely and um ew look at that why did I not just glue this it back down um and he put rocks down a rock two rocks down to uh show me where it was and then um okay and when they got back in the car to leave the rocks were still there and he made one of his sisters get out and remove the rock I was like, wow, I could have done that. It was just two little rocks because he, he didn't want me or anybody in the family when he came home to trip over it. And I was like, well, wow, that was nice. I mean, it was two little, little rocks. I mean, nice size rocks, but a bit. And he made them get out, and I, I thought, I really thought that was really considerate. And that wasn't the only thing 
he did it with this area you can't see the two I'm not gonna put the date I'm just gonna put the year right now ah can't see it that well anyway nah I'll write it in okay let me get a wipe it Okay, I know I always like the can't, can't like the border. Can't stop bordering. I always like the border. I'm gonna have to get something for that. Is that no? I said needs something. Needs something. Needs me to stop. That's what it needs me. <laughs> to do for this page today i like to thank you so very much for watching and journaling with me and i talked about my experience with this water main break oh boy i'm gonna have more to say about it in the future too so thank you so very much for watching i will talk to you in the next video bye okay you'll find that i'm always having to come in anymore i came in and added some dots to pull the dots from here out to there and to make uh, the page a little more cheerful and of course I had to come in and border so bore so now I'm done now I'm done